What is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours, of course, the Scarender. And today, we got ourselves a new match, of course, with Volcanion in mind against Dennis from my stream. And yeah, Volcanion, of course, gonna introduce this Friday, the last generation six modern coffin. Finally, I've been waiting, what is that? I do believe three freaking years. That is just wow. But yeah, anyway. This is basically what I was thinking of if I want to introduce Volcano to a team. Volcano does have a lot of offensive presence with it. It has a nice kind of uh, ability and defensive stats, but it is not as fast. So it's more of a tank or a wall than um, an offensive mod. So basically, you want to use it to make sure that other offensive mod can work properly, which means Mega Dianchi. Mega Dianchi works really well here. And Tangro is what's followed to kind of avoid, of course, the um, Earth situation that I got going with my team. And you can go with Celebi also, of course, Shaman or Superior works real nicely. Lodios is a Defogger, which I do believe Life Orb... No, it was Specs this game, actually. Never mind. Don't ask me why. Um, Landers, which is a, more of offensive Landers with Yasha Berry and Stealth Rocks. And Magnusone being a Scarf variant with Hidden Power, Grass, Flash Cannon, Volt Switch and Thunderbolt, which works real nice. My opponent is bringing what I would call the standard of OU. Uh, Thunderous, Landorus, Keldeo, Yurashi, Asumaril, and uh, Mega Gardevoir. Now, I'll say this, Volcano is an excellent response to that freaking Asumaril. My god, is it good. So, yeah, with that said, I thought I was gonna lead with Landorus. That was my only real idea. I was also gonna lead with Denshi and get my Evolution off for the bats. With that said, let's go. Oh, and also, of course, stay tuned for, of course, after the battle. I have a few things I want to talk about. So, anyway, he likes to leading off with God of War. Which is kind of alright. I mean, Dianchi can't kill God of War for sure, and Hyper Voice will kill me. Um, it's very unlikely I'll take that at least. So, with that said, I think that's alright. I'm gonna get the Mega Evolution. That's all that's really gonna matter. Um, like I said, the only reason I wanna go for uh, early Mega Evolution is to make sure to have Magic Bounce active. That means that his Thunders can spam Thunder Wave. That also means that he can really go for Quartz Rocks. So, having that behind me is super important. So anyway, suspecting the Hyper Voice here of course, and there we go. Nothing wrong to it, nothing really. Uh, I have a golden opportunity to switch out because I will say this just once. Magnus Zone. Pretty darn potent against his uh, God of War. It could pack Focus Blast, that's an issue, but that's about it. So anyway, since I'm Scarfed and he goes for a U-turn, I know that he's Yurashi Scarf, Which is good, because Yurashi is not necessarily one of the better Scarfers. And yes, I'm saying that being fully aware of Iron Head flinch action with of course 40%, I know. But outside of that, it's not as aggressive. So anyway, he goes for Landers here. I sadly went for Thunderbolt, which of course will do nope on him. Oh, sorry. And uh, yeah, I need to go to, of course, switch out myself. And thinking that he might not go for Rock Scene, that whole command of the Enchi, uh, he actually goes for U-Turn, which is nice. Had he gone for Stealth Rocks there, that would have been terrifying, but at the same time, it would have been extremely risky. So there were, would be no point of him doing that. So anyway, he's gonna switch out and go to Blazes, which is the Sumeril. Now, I am not want to take this hit from it. Whatever it has, I don't want to take it. I don't want to take an Aqua Jet. I don't want to take a Waterfall. So I'm gonna go to Volcanion, because Volcanion does wall this guy pretty darn nicely. Now, he'll go for a knockoff, and that doesn't hurt. I was thinking first that he might have been banded. But since that damage didn't do anything, that definitely means that it could be possible of having uh, an Assault Vest or anything like that, really, or Citrus Bear and whatnot. So anyway, I go for that mighty Steam Eruption, Specs Steam Eruption, mind you guys, and uh, we get the burn, of course, because this is an OP, this is a Hydro Pump Skull, basically. And that is, of course, the main premise with Volcanion, that it just can spam that kind of move, and so it's, it's very likable. Uh, so anyway, he go to his Belzebus again, I do believe, and... Uh, I myself am going to switch out because I really don't want to take a secret sword. I don't feel comfortable actually by that in mind. So I go to Sarlax, of course, my Tangrove. And Tangrove can definitely deal with this man, if anything. It's um, it's quite formidable in that way, to be completely honest. So little this Yurashi, obviously I'm not doing the reckless play. I'm going directly for Gear Rain. And that is, um, that is not doing a lot. This is... And he'll go for a U-turn. That's the right. It shouldn't really hurt too much, but it actually does a right chunk anyway. Um, then again, obviously, one other base will do just that to you. And I do believe I kept going for a Gidrain here because I didn't really... No, I went for Earthquake. All right. All right. Trying to re recollect it. So I went for Earthquake and that's not doing a lot, is it? 
And unlucky for me, I don't have uh, Sludge Bomb or something like that. Which probably would have been helpful here. So I go to Magnuson again, he'll go for a Will Wisp, and that is kind of bad, but at the same time, it doesn't really affect uh, Magnuson that much. But it is unfortunate in every extent of the way. And uh, he, of course, will switch out here, not gonna risk the Flash Cannon, and goes to Nimbus. And I do believe I, of course, go for Flash Cannon. So right now, this is the second obvious move I, I made. And that is dangerous. While that is a critical hit, it's still an analytic boost complied to that. And that does a lot of damage, but it hardly is enough. And I am right in an area where I could uh, be pressured for him going for a nasty plot, which is, is exactly what he does. Now, I can take a hidden power flying. I shouldn't be worried about it. But at the same time, I could miss Rock Slide. He doesn't want to take that risk, luckily for me, really, because that would be the worst that I miss Rock Slide. And he goes to his Landris. Now, here's the thing Landris doesn't necessarily um, pose a threat to me, but at the same time, he will go for Self Rock. So there is the risky player we kind of been waiting for. Because, like I said, I do have the Enchi. It's a risk going for Self Rock. But it just work in his favor, of course. I go for the Giga Ring, which just takes me back a bit, but at the same time, U-Turn will hurt. It still is what Jubilee 130 base attacks that really, really, really hurts, and crit isn't really helping either. Uh, definitely pushing down Tangrowth, but at the same time, he doesn't really have a lot of switching, and I predicted him to go for U-Turn and I went for an Earthquake, and that doesn't do a lot. It really doesn't do a lot. And he comes for a Heart Stomp here, not Arnett, surprisingly. And I'll break through, no flinching, goes for Earthquake again, and I get a crit. Boom. <laughs> so that's your your rush the other way. And basically the reason I'm using Tangrove over any other mon is because of the moveset. It just, it can't pick things off guard, obviously not guard of war. And uh, I'm gonna switch out there to my Landers, because my Landers is my least important member for this team. And um, lucky, lucky thing I did that, because I actually went for Focus Blast this time instead of um, a psychic move or a fair move so lucky for me uh, because it just connected but at the same time I can't outspeed this mon there is no way sadly and the hyper voice will take out Landra so that's too bad but at the same time of the choices I had this was probably my better option so I go to the end here because I can't outspeed it and Diamond Storm is well within his area of taking it out I am of course a mixed TNG or a naive one so max speed Little attack, max special attack, basically, and uh, it's gonna do all kinds of wonder, really. Um, so he goes to his landers, and even with Intimidate, this Diamond Storm is actually enough to kill it. And that is 150 base attack for you. It might be um, might be reduced, but it still freaking hurts. So he goes to Keldeo, and since he brought it like this, I thought, alright, it's very likely that he could be scuffed, and... Um, I don't feel I want to take that risk, so I'm gonna go to Lodios. Since I resist his stabs anyway, so I can actually deal with this properly. And he goes for a skull, that's not gonna do anything. But I'll actually do a bit of a misprediction here, because I was pretty sure I was timid here. Uh, I am actually modest. I actually, I have fixed that, but I'm actually gonna bring God of War. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Psy Shock, and uh, if we'll do a whole lot, but I paid attention to my typing or my, um, or my nature. Uh, I want to make sure that I can't outspeed it next turn, which I can't, so whoa, god damn it, that is, um, that's bad. That's really bad, and mostly due to that means that Kelly just got a hell lot nastier. Luckily for me, Dayenshi is still the mon of choice in this kind of environment. I mean, obviously, Diamond Storm is now in well within this area of killing it, and obviously, most of my mons does have speedy guard war at this point anyway, but I'd rather have my Dayenshi healthy. The Yenshi can definitely pack a punch behind it. And uh, the opponent will now actually go for Thunderous. Which I thought was surprising because I know that Thunderbolt can kill me. Uh, he likes to go for Nasty Plot, which is fine, it really is. But at the same time, there was no way in hell he was gonna take a Diamond Sword nor a Moonblast for that way. I mean, he could have packed a Flash Cannon, I know that. But at the same time, that is not your standard Thunderous. It would be very unlikely for him to have Flash Cannon. And obviously, um, I have a freaking Volcano on the team. So anyway, due to two races in my um, defense, I thought I could stay in and go for Moonblast, because Moonblast is close to actually killing it. He does live it though, which kind of gives away that it is a Soul Fist. 
and he'll go for a waterfall and like I said due to plus two we're actually gonna take that but sadly the combination that is awkward yet will pick me up I didn't feel safe uh, bringing in Volcano on here because I kind of need healthy now that Kelio is <laughs> healthy um, which is extremely frustrating so I'm gonna bring Sarlax basically uh, take it out and uh, then get Regenerator going because I am right in a position where I kind of need my Tangrowth to be healthy or I am basically in trouble and the playdraft does a lot of damage, I'm not even gonna deny that and um, well I'll just need, like I said, Tangrowth to be somewhat healthy it definitely needs to be over 50% to uh, survive Keldeo because he can just lock himself into Secret Swore right now and uh, that is easily gonna take us out so I'll have to fodder something and I decided to fodder Dynamos because well since we already know we scarfed, I can't outspeed it, which also means that uh, Dynamo is gonna fall naturally anyway. So, yeah, there he goes. Poor guy. Poor guy. And uh, that's alright. Um, so, basically, I have now enough HP to survive the, the Keldeo with Tangrove. But I was thinking, hell, let's try to wrap things up with Worsion. I really wanna see can I, when I'm full HP, not defense, take our secret sword from this area? And here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, and Volcano is saying, nope, I'm gonna take you out, and goes for Sludge Bomb, and that is GG. So, yeah, <laughs> awesome game, Dennis. I mean, it was really fun using Volcano and seeing this team work. It obviously is not the primary team and not the primary way to use Volcano, but my god, it can be threatening, it really can. So, yeah, I mean, that was definitely a fun game. I'm... I can't really deny that, I um, thought it was really fun to actually use Volcanion and try to develop a team with Volcanion in mind because Volcanion has a lot of things going for it but it also has a lot of issues coming with it so using as a defensive mon instead of offensive mon is probably the way you want to go I mean, 4 times resist to steel and ice means that you can rely on water types or I mean uh, dragon types and uh, the energy that works properly with it and the energy obviously is my primary sweeper for this team and I think she works marvelous with Volcano in mind. Definitely solves one of the bigger issues with, of course, using the energy, you know, of course, bullet punch and stuff like that. Um, with that said, I have a bit of a, not an announcement really, but something I really want to ask you guys, and that is, what do you guys want to see from this channel now that it is kind of slow when it comes to Pokemon, and there is not really a whole lot going on right now, and that's all right. But at the same time, I kind of want to make this as good place as possible till Sun and Moon is out. So I was wondering, I, I'm obviously doing like questions on Twitter, you know, what do you want to see? Wi-Fi battles, uh, Poké Topics, uh, how-to videos with Pokémons. But I really want to make a, a real suggestion here. What do you guys preferably want to see? And you don't have to like argue for your thing, basically all you can write down in the comments below are like Wi-Fi battle or Poké Topics or how-to or whatever really, just make a message where you guys say this is what I want to see. Uh, so, so I have something to actually kind of reconsider because like I said, at the time being, Pokemon is kind of slow and I feel that I want to give you guys who actually been sticking by and hanging uh, as honest of a chance of actually showcasing what you guys want to see for entertainment because I, I, I always have the time to pull this off but at the same time, I don't want to do it blindly when I know there aren't too many left and I really want to do this for you guys. So, just leave a comment down below, you know, anything really. Hell, do you want to see Mario Maker? I'll do Mario Maker, but let's do Mario Maker, no, but... <laughs> I'll do something, like, I sincerely want to know what you guys want, want to see. Uh, so with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, of course, as always. Don't forget to leave a like, you know, all that jazz. Hell, leave a dislike, I don't care. Punch a baby. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you extremely so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.